What's up guys, Big T here. We just got to Spirit Halloween today on this Friday. Of course, Dylan. And we're at the Spirit Halloween in Wadsworth, Ohio. And we're gonna go ahead and check this store out. It looks pretty big. Look at that. Right by Lie Below. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this was a bed, bath, and beyond. Um, I'm trying to look to see if there's any like cart things to indicate that, but I'm pretty sure it was a bed, bath, and beyond. When I looked up the address, it did say it, but I'm pretty sure that's what we got here today. All right, guys, this is the outside of the store right next to Michael's and Five Below and Target right there. So let's see what happens when we first walk in here today. Ooh, has a nice spooky theme to it in here. And we're grounded by no other than Stilts the Clown. Dylan, go ahead and step on Stilts right here. Nice, we've seen him at previous Spirit Halloweens already. We have not yet seen her at any Spirit Halloweens. This is Betty Sharp. Let's see, go, go ahead Dylan, see what she does. I like collecting things. Can I show you my collection? <laughs> All right, I don't know if she has any animation to her, just a voice line. And it looks like right here, they're not putting any animatronics where it was broken. And then we got the sitting sca scarecrow right here that we've seen everywhere. And look, somebody even left a piece of, oh wow. That is pretty cool right there. You go for some candy, get a little jump scare like I did right there, that was spooky. And then of course we got Killer Clown Slim right here. We've seen him at some stores. Let's see if he's fully working today or not. With his bag of popcorn right here. Very menacing. But ultimately, it looks like the graveyard is kind of kind of shallow here today. I mean, there's more animatronics over there. Hopefully something new that we haven't seen before. But yeah, for the first entrance coming in, there's only about three animatronics, which is kind of crazy, you know? Well, four, I guess. One was new, which was pretty cool to see, but other than that, it's kind of empty on both sides and only one on the inside, maybe the sitting scarecrow. Now this thing right here is very amazing. Dylan, go ahead and step on that. This thing is absolutely the best animatronic I've seen. How it launches so high up in the air. I absolutely love that. If I was gonna set up anything for my house, it would have to be this thing because just jumping from here all the way up there is just bonkers. And then we got the jumping spider that I think was trying to jump out, but the door seems locked or something. Let's try to give him another, uh, there he goes. I'll open the door for you, buddy. Even though you triggered already, we'll give you another chance to trigger, okay? Well, can't close the doors ourselves. Come on, bud. Jump out for us. Oh, okay. Oh, then he's jumping at the door when it closes. What a goofball. Unfortunately, it looks like the graveyard is kind of dead here. I mean, we got this thing, which is always a nice spook. If it's working. Let me try the other pad. Any of these pads? Nope. That's unfortunate. Then, of course, we got Blackheart right here. Let's see if Blackheart's working today. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, okay. Just a little delayed. So, Blackheart's working. You know, he says some things, that's for sure. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the mask here. It looks like we got a nice leather face mask from the very, wait, is this from the first one though? This is from the 1974 one? No, uh, where's, where's your fact checks? And then of course we got a nice little jigsaw mask and then another jigsaw mask with the hair included in the mask. Pretty sure this is the first time we've seen anything like feral cats or something. We got right there here and then i guess this is just a regular black cat but that one's actually spooky and then we got a nice martian mask right here and then of course house of a thousand corpse mask right here with a freddy cougar mask behind that on the bottom but this martian mask is pretty cool and then of course we got some inflatables we got the inflatable cat 
the inflatable wolf right here, the inflatable rat, and the inflatable reaper, which I seen somebody had a couple of those in the yard. I don't know why they needed a couple, but they got them. Uh, we got the haunted tree, ghost, pumpkins, uh, this car again, and snakes with the nine foot jack-o'-lantern thing right next to the spirit dummy. And then of course, if you like Fall Guy outfits, there's actually a couple more that we haven't seen. Like you can get the chicken one and this one, which is the Freezy upside down. And then right next to the costumes, they actually got an inflatable Yeetus hammer from the game. And then of course, uh, I think this is a backpack. Yep, little Fall Guys backpack. And this might be something, uh, let me check. Nope, that's just another Freezy. I thought this section was neat right here. They got a bunch of different Pokemon outfits you can be. Squirtle, Score Bunny, Sobble, Pikachu, Eevee. Absolutely insane. Bulbasaur right there on your right. Grookey. That is pretty, pretty cool. I have to admit that. And then these are some pretty, pretty cool uh, costumes. We got the Noodle Cup, the Inflatable Dragon, Inflatable Cow. Look at that Noodle Cup. And then we got the inflatable wacky arms guy. Look at that. <laughs> and then skeleton abducting somebody right there. A chicken. And of course, a dinosaur, but Dylan's personal favorite, a piece of pizza with a guy in a banana suit. And then a hot dog. And then just a skin suit. Then I don't know if I've seen these at any other Spirit Halloweens this season, but this is just adorable. Look at this. You can make your little your little pet a Chucky. We got some pajamas of Halloween right here. We got Ghostface. We got the Adams Family Wednesday right here. Look at all. Look at all. And then we got a race car. It. Trick or treat. And then if you like cartoons of course spongebob and the teenage mutant ninja turtle one right here a fire truck and a pumpkin poncho and then of course right here we got the jumping spider animatronic we got in a black and red variant right there and a brown variant as here seen which is pretty neat too bad he's not jumping out of that door anytime soon let's go see if it works this time for him We'll try knocking on the door real quick. All right, we gave him a little bit of time to shine, I guess. But yeah, you have to knock on the door first, which is crazy because he's already jumping. I don't know what triggers the jump unless it's motion sensored, but he's jumping after the door's closed. Then of course, this one's always a scary animatronic. Darling Dolly, let's go ahead and see if she's working. <laughs> Dylan, I'm going to be honest, it scared the crap out of me because I didn't, we never seen this in action yet and I didn't know it was going to jump forward like that. that uh, my heart actually dropped. <laughs> we got the howling spirit right here. Look at that. And then we got a little gargoyle right below him. You always miss the howling spirit. You, you just don't think about it. You just think he's just a regular decoration, not an animatronic, to be honest. Then, of course, we got the nice very nice deadly arts which i enjoy i uh, got frankenstein and his bride followed by jason Voorhees and pennywise and at the bottom michael myers and freddy cougar which the deadly arts are always amazing then right here we got some bleeding candles we haven't seen these anywhere yet and then of course the candle holders for them right there which is all pretty neat in my opinion and then just some other cool knickknacks right below that. I can't remember if we've seen this fall guy outfit and another Spirit Halloween, I, or maybe it was this one, but these are two cool ones too. I know the other ones we showed previously, we did not see them in any Spirit Halloweens. And it's just the classic orange guy with a crown, blue guy with a crown, and pink with a crown. Look at that. We're just walking around at the store looking for things we haven't seen in previous Spirit Halloweens and we hit the jackpot with these nice little book bags right here. We got a nice little pumpkin flame right there. A Friday the 13th themed one. 
a Nightmare on Elm Street themed one, and then a Chucky or Child's Place themed one. That is really cool. And then we got a Tinkerbell one, a Michael Myers one. The Tinkerbell one's throwing me off. They got all these spooky ones and the Tinkerbell. Uh, actually, we got a Corpse Bride one right here. Pretty cool. And then a SpongeBob one. These are all cool backpacks. We even got a Scooby-Doo one and a Ghostbusters. Overall, it looks like it was worth a long drive to get up here. Again, this is in Wadsworth, Spirit Halloween. Um, I'm just browsing around seeing if we missed anything that we might have not gotten at any Spirit Halloween before. I'm not trying to make it the same thing over and over. I'm trying to see some new things. So if you're in the Wadsworth area and see anything that you like, come on down before it closes. Right now it's October 20th. Don't know how long these stores stay open. So if you see this, get down here right away and get one of those cool backpacks. Actually, those are really cool in my opinion. And in case you were wondering, it looks like the price tag for all the backpacks are gonna be about 60 bucks before tax. So you're looking about $70. Okay, one of these, I know I put taxes all the way out there, but you know, taxes are taxes. I don't know, I don't, I don't mess with them too much. And then, of course, everyone's favorite child cartoon at the moment, Bluey, which is absolutely picked dry, all but for like one little costume right here, and one little, is this a, oh, this is a little candy holder. This is pretty cool. Got some bracelets right here, and then of course, some headbands. And then of course, we got a variety here for your candy buckets. We got a nice little, little uh, what's this thing called? I'm spazzing out, you know, the, you know the feeling. And then we got Elmo right here, a skeleton one, a fuzzy one, and then we got a dinosaur. We even got flounder, which is nuts. Cars, and then a Spider-Man one that just looks plastic. And then we even got our own little Chucky section right here with the Chucky jumpsuit, Tiffany, and then, Dylan, what character was this from Chucky? That's not from Chucky. Yeah, it is. No. Why is it in the Chucky section if it's not for Chucky? I don't know. It has a different name. What's it say then? I don't know. Wow. That's from Chucky. Look at this Friday the 13th section right here. Dylan, what Friday the 13th is this from? Part 4. Part 4? I think we've seen this one before, did we? That's the Part 4 mask. How do you know that? Fact check this guy. Is that the part four mask with the part nine face? Or is Dylan just making stuff up? You can get some Camp Crystal Lake socks right here. And look at this machete, bloody. And then, of course, you can even look, you can get the mask separately and the machete separately, or you can just get them in a combo. But, of course, this looks like the scarier section. Look, we got Sam unmasked right here. We just got a normal clown mask. And then, ooh, we didn't see that on the book bag wall over there, which is pretty nice. And of course you can get Sam Sucker and knife. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. Another, another sweet little bag right here. That is so cool. Dylan, do you think this bag's nice? <laughs> then on our way walking out, we see this animatronic that we have not seen before the cauldron this and here's a couple other ones we still never seen this one in action it's crazy because i know years ago this used to be everywhere at all the spirit halloweens now i can't even see it and there's the howling spirit that we saw already today but that might be it here guys like i said if you're staying for the vlog that's going to come out after these videos to catch up on all the spirit halloweens that we see today this is our first one we're possibly looking at two more maybe even three more but we got a lot of things to do it's been a busy busy week here for me and dylan uh so finding time to make youtube videos is finding a pretty hard time but look at all these cool cool things behind us the throw blankets and everything but anyways if you're on the journey and you're watching the vlog we're hitting up the second store at the moment if this is just the original video go and check the vlog when it comes out probably a week from this upload but in the meantime guys catch you in the next one